We're here. We're back in Adams Town, and we only have an hour because it's four o'clock. They close at five o'clock. I drove all this way. Dagny's waiting. She's like, "Let's go. Let's hurry. We've only got an hour, <laughs> so let's get it done. Let's go see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Everything here is thirty-five percent off too. It's a nice tramp art box. It's slidey. Slidey, slidey. That's nice. And then look, it has a drawer. It's like lacquered. Mm -hmm. Look at these Red Warrior Brininger dogs. Those are some nice dogs. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, ooh. We got the micro mosaic little pill boxes. Oh, the whole Howard mushroom. Mustard. Ooh, mustard, <laughs> mustard, mushroom, mustard. You know, it was it's a long. It was it was a long drive here, and my brain's not quite working yet. It's a good thing this is a voiceover. There you go. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be a voiceover. The music is not bad. <laughs> no excuses. Ooh, look at this down here. Fifty nine on that little Millefiori top hat. That's really nice. Those are. I have a really tall giraffe, but it's not a. Um, Red Those are crazy. I didn't know Aldrith made angels like that. That's like See, that was a huge. Crazy on a yeah. yeah, it's just and like Michael said, then run away. Run away. <laughs> run away. Okay, run away. A pair of candlesticks. Got the poisoning. I like that artwork. China. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at him. <laughs> I wonder what the year is on it. One. Is it Mike? Is it signed? With the purple and the blue. Usually you see him with green and it is pretty. Oh, look at these. Fancy curtains. Ooh wee, ooh, ooh, okay. E, ooh, I like that one. <laughs> I like those ones. 25 dollars for that one. I like that glaze on that. Where's all the glass? Oh. Mandruzado, isn't it? 20 dollars. Moran glass, as is. <laughs> Oop, it's got a chip. Oh, right there on the top. And it's got a chippy. It's Mondrezado, I think is what it is. I don't know if I could do it with a chippy. I mean, some days I can, but today's not a day. Today's not a chippy day. That fused glass plate. Oh, it's 180 for that. That's Sidden Stricker. 180 for the Sidden Stricker. What is that? That's for you. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna sneak by you. The angel with the fire. <laughs> yes, that's what I was pointing She's so at. Tired. She's, so tired She's like, I'm playing. done. I could I'm see the I could you. see the crack from over there, so I was a little bit nervous and I could see it here. There is a crack. That's unfortunate. You must have your glasses on. I do. I've got my glasses on. 200. Oh, it's beautiful though. I love it. The music in this mall is a little bit tricky, so I'm gonna be bouncing back and forth between voiceover and regular video. But I noticed this purse and I really liked the design on the front. I loved that poodle. I thought it was adorable. The purse was really clean as well for its age. I was a little confused by the tag. It looked like it said early cover skirt. And I was confused by that because obviously this is a purse. Um, but I brought, I brought it up front and I ended up paying the price that was on that tag. So I'm not really sure what the deal with the tag was, but I really loved the purse. I thought it was adorable. Kind of reminded me a little bit of Enid Collins. It was not, but that's kind of what it reminded me of with that applied embellishment. Dagny was admiring this dress and I, I was like, you should try it on. And she was, she was like, well, I don't know. But I thought, it would, I thought it would be fun. We should definitely try it on. Maybe not. <laughs> I really liked this quilted glass bottle here in the back. And also these three glass ladies in the case were interesting. I found them to be interesting. 
Um, so the one that interests me the most, of course, was the one with the heart, with her hands on her hips, because I do that all the time with my kids. And I'm like, you know what? If I was to purchase one of these ladies, it would probably be this one, because she is the best representation of me. Um, so I'm checking out the bottom there. I noticed that it's not polished on the bottom, which was a little bit confusing. I, I'm not sure about these. Um, I would have grabbed all three, maybe if they were polished. Um, but this bottle, I also liked this. I was asking Dagny, is it is it ground in the bottom? Because that's an indicator that it would have had a stopper. Yes, it was ground on the inside, um, but it's a really nice Murano bottle, probably a decanter with a lion's head. Here is a vase, and it's kind of a, a peach crest vase with an applied riggery and bird painted on it. I got a message from the Flow Blue Collector Society that we have a piece listed that isn't in their database and they asked <gasps> to use our pictures. That's exciting. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. I was like, yeah. Do you know what it was? It was you know the that? Lunaville Opaque. Did you list that? It has been in scheduled for a while and I was like, uh, yeah. That's a Go right ahead. I was really excited. So one of ours is actually going to be listed in there. Um, this up here. Take something. I'm not taking that because it's my family. Wait, don't take Wait, that. Wait, no, I can't take that. Here, you should film me though because it's kind of funny. Can I take your camera? Yeah. Look what she's doing. She's dangerous. <laughs> she's one under there, one in her hand, and holding the camera. This one kind of looks like Moser though. At gold. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Dangerous, dangerous. All right, let's walk it up front. Okay. You can feel better about it. Oh, wait, look. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you will get all three ladies. You know what, though? I really like this one. It's like French. Oh, $16. I don't know, though. Now I'm just being greedy. Let's go French. <laughs> and we're back to the voiceover. Uh, we've got a bird here. It is $40, but keep in mind that there is a percent off here in this booth. I love the Murano birds. Um, usually I'll pick them up if the price is right. This guy was really cute. There were no chips or cracks on it. I loved that gold adventuring. It was a very fine, like almost dust of gold. And it was it was fantastic. So I did pick up this little bird here. I do like that little velvet, or violet, violet. I can't even today. <laughs> Mushrooms, mustard, velvet, violets. It's all just tongue twisters to me. I like it, I'll take it. Okay. Unless you want it. Nope. I like this one, but I just don't, I don't know. I'm like, eh. I like I'm not basket. as excited about that. Yeah, the basket is that end of day. That's neat I with the like thorny. Um, yeah. Fingers. Oh my gosh, look at this basket down here. The bridal That's bowl. Beautiful. That's amazing. Wowzers. Okay. That says Costa. Oh, look Kusta. at this guy down here. That's pretty. That's beautiful. 35. That's I love that it's colors. got blue and red in it. Yeah, yeah, I'm digging it. That's pretty. I think I need it in my life. It's, it's fun sponge, yeah. Oh, look at this little Bella. Girl. <laughs> I'm already like, girl. I've moved on. <laughs> Oh my gosh, That's shopping with Jocelyn. Cute. Everyone's like, I want to shop with Jocelyn. They have no idea what it's like <laughs> it's, shopping with Jocelyn. That, and it's scary, and it's fast. It's fast, and it's scary. <laughs> We've only got an hour. we got to go quick. Ooh. Dagny pointed out this beautiful reproduction galley cameo lamp, and it was just absolutely stunning. Now this Majolica pitcher was really neat. I loved the handle on it and the way that it had that creature there at the base of the handle. This was a piece that I probably would have considered picking up for the right price. Not only because it had bird on it, but it was just a really interesting shape and design. Unfortunately, it was a bit too much for resale. I love that color. And 40% off. Is it 40 or 50? 30, 40. They're like all printed. Maybe. Look at that. Pink. Oh, look at all this. Look at those. The single? No, this is the bird of the jewel of Italian birds. 
Wait, is it Stangle? This one's Stangle. This one's just a regular, a regular bird. Those look like Yadros. Mmm, look at them all. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Jordan Imports Company, horse dish, $98, 30% off. Or 40% off. Mmm. They're like carnival. Rare, dense, and fine red. Scanning, 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 scanning. What? Which one? Oh, this, the Fostoria? Oh, this is the tea berry, the tea berry gum display, right? Yeah, this is for the tea berry gum. We have one of these somewhere at the shop. I don't know where it's at. I've had one of those before. Did you ship it? Did you sell it? Yeah. It was a vase, though. Do you remember? Is that the one that was some, like, submerso? <laughs> Just, like, touch it. Touch it, touch it all. He is real fancy. Look at the detail on his face. It is a nice bird. It is a, that is a nice bird. <laughs> it's so pretty because there's a little blue in it. Yeah, that one back there, that's that person. I had one of those. I had a vase. Remember? I got it and it was way bigger than I thought it was going to be. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> and then I sold it. Mm -hmm. This looks like Tiffin. What is that? Tomato. <laughs> what? Did you just find a goose? 25% off. He's so big. He's like a big goose. He's mad, he's facing that wall. He's like, I'm, I'm done being in here. Please take me home and find me a good home. He's mad at the bull, so he turned around. And the bull's like, I'm not speaking to you. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Scent mm. and mulberry. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious, am I buying a duck oh, and a cockatoo? Mary. Indiana glass, Mary. I have Is one it? of those for sale. I don't sell Marys anymore. <laughs> you can buy all your Marys from Duck. Yes. <laughs> Justin does not sell those. Oh my gosh, I love that console bowl so much, but no way in heck am I buying them. Do you know how heavy those things are? I know, oh my gosh. Where's my goal? Where is my goal? 25% just over here cradling my 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 carrot. My parrot. <laughs> my parrot. <laughs> nope, that's his name. Now you have to keep him. You've named him. I've named him. I'm his <laughs> carrot his now. Carrot. That's a cute name for a bird. Gosh, that is amazing. I've never seen anything like that before. Is that green? I don't know what that is. Open up. Oh, <laughs> uh, we need back in here, please. Yeah, I mean, it's 115 though, but that's like something I've never seen before. It's like a weird Murano blob bowl. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of that and send it to my friend Peter. It's the blob bowl. Look at that though. That's crazy looking. Wow, look at that though. That's like really nice looking. That's some fancy glass. I don't know anything about that. What do you think about that? I think it's neat to have a fish on it. What do you think, Rooster? Rooster's like indifferent to it. Like he's got like a mm -hmm. pinky boo hole. You can see through him. Like a window to his soul. That's neat. I like that. Oh, it's etched. Yeah. I might have to buy that one. Look at this Aladdin lamp. Oh, look at that up there. I need that. Dagny, stand on my shoulders because. Are you, are get that for you? Yeah, you Here, stand on my shelf. shoulders. I'll just climb up the shelf. You'll be fine. I'll be fine. Just brace me. Very beautiful. No chippies either. Now, Dagny was looking in this case and she pointed out this beautiful glass bowl here on the bottom shelf. 
There were some other really nice pieces in here and everything in this booth was also 30% off. I'm not sure if this was the same dealer that we've seen around the store or if there was just a lot of 30% off sales happening today, but I love 30% off. I love sales. Sales are always fun, especially when you buy pricey items. 30% off is always great. Uh, this dog was really cute for 35 and up here there was some nice pottery. I really liked this pottery piece, but it was 135. This set was nice. This was a nice set. It had some Moriyagi on it, but it would have been a pain to ship. Now we've spotted a Murano bowl and it is trapped behind this glass door, which I'm having issues sliding. I don't know why. I'm just like, I'm not functioning today. <laughs> um, there was a nice Ellie Smith candlestick set. I believe Dagny has a pair of those listed in her eBay shop right now. But this bowl was only $22. It was 30% off, which would bring it under $20. Look, 30% off. So I'm trying to convince Dagny to buy some glass. Um, Dagny likes to keep her price point under $20, um, which is why you don't see her dropping lots of money on stuff. Um, that's over $20, but this was a good price point for her. So I was trying to convince her, hey, look at this. It's $22 and with 30% off, it's under $20. So I'm trying to convince her to buy some glass. I'm a very bad influence, obviously. I, I think it goes both ways though. <laughs> so unfortunately, there was what appeared to be a crack. Um, and we were trying to decide if it was schmutz or crack. Ultimately, we put it back. And I decided to come back to this bowl, which I believe was $35. Um, it was really nice. It was made by Steigl Glass Works 1976, which is actually still in operation in Mannheim, Pennsylvania. And it's just a few blocks from where William Steigl manufactured glass. So it's a pretty cool piece. Um, it is modern. I believe it was dated 2012 or 2017. I had a hard time reading it. Now I've spotted this, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's $14. That's in your price range, Dagny. Look at that piece of glass. I'm not sure if this is Blanco. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, the texture tells me that it could be Blanco, but I like it, and I thought it was really neat. So I'm like, hey, look at that. You could buy that. Buy some glass. Stick it in your eBay shop. There you go. And I loved the color of it. It was kind of like a dusty rose glass. And then she found this. She found this one all on her own. I had nothing to do with it. It was $20, 30% off. There was no damage on it whatsoever. And um, she bought it. Yay. <laughs> and he's 25% off yeah. on less marked firm. Cool. <laughs> he is not marked firm. Yeah, you're, it'd be very rare, like I said, to find anything that's firm in this in this booth. Awesome. So they were getting ready to close, and we decided to do a little bit more shopping as other people were in line to check out. Um, this vase right here, I really liked this, but I couldn't quite make out the marking there on the bottom, and for $39, it made me a little nervous. That was just another nice pottery piece. This booth was also on sale. There were so many sales, it was delightful. I spotted this art glass fish. It reminded me of Bad Ash glass. And the reason I say that is because they do a lot with those clear glass bases. I don't know if they're glass, they're like a lucite base. This is cameo glass, similar to the galley lamp that we saw earlier. The thickness tells me that it's likely a reproduction of the antique French cameo glass. Dagny is pointing out a slag glass bowl. And up above, that vase up there had an FF sticker, and I'm not sure if that is for Fitz and Floyd. I was about to walk past and I spotted something. I spotted this. And I'm like, is that Hagrid back there? Is it just hanging out on the shelf? 
It is, isn't it? Um, this beautiful Hager vase. And I said, what's wrong with it? It was only $29 and there was a discount on the booth on top of that. So that was pretty exciting. There was a little bit of a chip there right on the white. But Dagny's like, look, if you turn it this direction, you can't even tell. <laughs> it needs a little bit of a bath. Yeah, I will say it needs a little bit of a bath. But it was a really nice piece, so I decided to buy that. Here we're looking at a little art glass toucan, and one of the Murano pieces that I'm desperate to find is a Murano toucan. This is likely not. He's got these little derpy legs there. He's just like, doo -doo -doo. Um, not Murano. Nice art glass piece, but not the toucan I'm looking for. That is probably a very glowy box. And this is a very heavy fish. I was surprised by the weight of this fish. I looked on the bottom to see if there was any markings. I didn't see anything. I set it back. Up there was an art glass shell. It was a really nicely done shell. Um, I just wasn't really sure of it and I believe they had 40 something on it. It looked to be more contemporary glass to me. Now I started to walk into this booth and then I was like, you know what? There is just so much more to see here and they're essentially closing any minute. I'm gonna have to come back. There's no way that I'm going to see it all today. So we were getting ready to head up to the front and Dagny spotted this. Unfortunately, his beak was broken and it's really hard to come back from a broken beak. It's just, it's, it's really not possible. But he is a beautiful Murano duck. Over here is an art glass bowl. Now this, on the other hand, I absolutely love and it still had a Murano sticker on the bottom. I loved the colors. They were just beautiful. That dark blue with the amber. Be still my heart. <laughs> so this was the last piece I grabbed. There was no price on it, but I ended up getting it for $20. So there you go. All right, well, this is a really weird angle, but the lighting is just horrible. Um, my total spend there was $518. I did it all in less than an hour. We got some really great stuff, some amazing glass. I'm super excited about it. Um, they closed at five o'clock. So across the street, there is another antique mall that is open until 7.30. And we're gonna head over across the street, see if we can't find some more treasures. But I'm definitely coming back here because we only scraped the surface and I've got a feeling there's some more goodies here. So I'll see you guys across the street soon and um, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.